Hello, Roxana. Good evening. Hello, Roxy. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. You're okay. Um, how was your work day? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día de trabajo? Good, more or less. Um, a little tired. A little <laughs> tired. Um, yeah. yeah. Remember me, what is, what's your occupation? Um, I am executive. <laughs> ah, yes, executive. Mm -hmm. Ejecutiva en atención. Ah, okay. So you work with customers? Trabaja con clientes? Yes. Is that okay? So, and is it you? Well, your work um, is it close? Cerca or far from home? Cerca o lejos de casa? Cerca. Cerca. Yes. Okay. How much time do you, does it take you to travel? El tiempo que te toma? One hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes from your house to your job. I can hear you. <laughs> ¿Cuánto te toma desde tu casa hasta tu trabajo? Um, no, que 15 minutos. 15 minutes. Okay, that's good. You go walking, vas caminando. Yeah. Mm, you're nice. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, okay, it's good to hear that. So now here we have Jesse. Hello, Jesse. Mm, yes, sí. Hello, teacher. How Good are you? ¿Cómo estás? I tired. Tired. Okay, Roxana said tired too. También Roxana <laughs> dijo que estaba cansada. Okay. But it's Friday. Come on. Friday. Viernesito. Ay, sí, pero ni me alegra mucho. <laughs> Why? Porque mañana tengo todo el día, bueno, toda la tarde clases. You have classes. Ah, you, you are studying, right? Yes. Sí, es, es, es estudiando. Okay. So, what time you finish your classes? Um, seven thirty. Seven thirty p.m. Siete treinta de la noche. Sí. Well, something that is good. Well, but during the week. From one weekdays, from one Monday to Friday, you don't study. Estudias. Besides Technical. English, aparte del inglés. Mm -hmm. Técnico en ingeniería industrial. No, no, I mean, do you have, do you study during, the, during Monday to Friday? Um, the Monday and Saturday. Mm, okay. Okay, but remember that tomorrow you're going to have like a different, a different, what, day? Vas a tener un día diferente, eso es bueno. It's not similar to, to, to today. No va a ser igual a, a ahora, ¿verdad? Por lo menos es algo diferente, right? Yes. Okay, so now let's listen to Jose. Hello, my friend. How do you Hello, do? Hello, teacher. How do you do? I go to lower the city. <laughs> ah, you are out of, of, of the city or what? Yeah, yeah. Where are you now? I am the Philippines. Really? Okay. Okay, yeah. nice. Well, uh, have some fun. Have uh, some fun. You. Okay. Thank you. How are you, teacher? Okay, well, I think uh, today, well, almost all Fridays, uh, well, Fridays are like very special days for me uh, because even if you work on Saturday, it is different Saturday uh, than, than the Friday, ¿verdad? Es diferente el, el sábado que el, 
que el, que el viernes ¿verdad? y que los otros días, ok, good eh, Silvana, hello, how fancy qué elegante Silvana Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Are you having a party? No. No. All right, I'm at my house. Yeah, but after the class? Sleeping. No. <laughs> that, that's your party. You're going to sleep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Good. Now let's listen to Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? I'm tired. Tired. Everybody's tired. Todos están cansados. Crazy wow. day. A crazy day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but we're about to finish this day. Ya estamos por terminar este día. Así que no, no puede estar tan loco. Right? <laughs> okay. And what about tomorrow? What are your plans for tomorrow, Jenny? I go, I, I go to the church. Mm -hmm. and lunch with my friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and, and what's the name of, of, the, of the church you go? It's a, it's a Catholic or it is a different church? Adventista. Mm, okay, good. Do you, do you play music in there? Do you belong to the, to the band in there? No. No. Dirijo, dirijo. I lead, mm -hmm. lead. I lead uh, children ministry. Mm, minister, yes. Well, that's good. Well, you, you like teaching, right? You like to be in charge of, of a group. <laughs> yeah, I teach in college. No, teach in, in high school oh, and uh -huh. teach in, in at, church. At church. Okay. Church. It's good for you. You offer a, a good service. Okay, nice for you. I like I like that. Okay, good. Thank you, Jenny. Bane, hello, Bane. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Very good. Very good. Okay, that's nice. Well, uh, today we're going to start with the the equation that I sent you on the on the WhatsApp group, okay? But um, the today's topic is how to use prepositions of time, okay? So today we're going to use, uh, we're going to learn prepositions of time. Vamos a aprender las preposiciones uh, de tiempo, okay? So to start, the question is, if I had $1 million, Si tuviera un million dollars, just imagine, okay, I know that maybe 10 million dollars could be better. Of course, por supuesto que sería mejor 10 millones, but let's imagine that you win the lottery. You win the lottery or, or something like that. What would you do with that quantity of money? ¿Qué harías con todo ese dinero? Okay. I know that you would pay debts, quizás pagarían deudas, or you would travel. And there are a lot of things that you can do with one million dollars, okay? En este caso, vamos a utilizar un condicional que se le llama would. Hay diferentes tipos de condicionales, okay? But in this case, vamos a utilizar este. En, en este caso, cuando se dice if, que significa si. Si yo tuviera, had es el verbo pasado, de, el mismo have, ¿verdad? Pero es pasado. Si yo tuviera un millón de dólares, I would, y el would, Como ya les había dicho, es un auxiliar que hace que, hace que los verbos terminen en español en día. Por ejemplo, compraría, invertiría, daría, ahorraría, gastaría. Ok. So, here I have some ideas. Um, if I had one million dollars, I would, would, como good morning, I would buy business, comprar negocio, I invest, invertir, give, dar, save, ahorrar, spend on. Eh, ¿En qué lo gastarías? Spend on what? Waste, eh, desperdiciar. No creo que utilicemos esto. Lost, perder. Ah, bueno, después vamos con eso. Pay debts. Pay debts significa pagar deudas. Ok. So, let's listen. What about you, Jenny? What would you do with one million dollars? I would like to travel the world. Wow, what country? <laughs> uh, do, do you have some, some countries that maybe you like? Or you would like to visit? 
Canadá. Canadá, yes. China, Chile, México. Wow, you have a lot. <laughs> uh, uh, a list, nice. I think that uh, any other? Um, Suiza. Ah, Switzerland, yes. Well, uh, you have mentioned different countries from different oh. continents. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. I don't understand. No, te, te digo que ha mencionado de países de oh. continentes. So, yeah. Siendo millonaria. Of course. In <laughs> private jet. Okay. I would like to visit China, the, the Great Wall, Chile, even. Uh, I don't know, Mexico. I would love to go to Mexico. And Canada is a good uh, country even to live. Para vivir. Canada, it, it's really good. So nice, Jenny, with your one million dollars. Okay, what about you, Silvana? One million, only for you. <laughs> I will uh, invest. Mm -hmm. Es invertir, ¿verdad? Invest. Invest. Mm -hmm. And, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Hogar de ancianos? Um, you can say uh, elder shelter. Shelter. Mm -hmm. Shelter. Elder, shelter. Elder significan como, como pues an, eh, mayores, ¿verdad? Y, y shelter significa refugio. You, even you can invest on, in animal shelter, kids shelter, or puedes también eh, homeless. Homeless uh -huh. también significa los desposeídos, las, las personas que están en la calle. Home es casa, less es sin, o sea, sin casa, ¿verdad? Entonces, so, well, eh, invest in eh, elder shelter, good. Good. There, there are a lot of ancient or old people that they need. They need food. They need uh, care. Necesitan cuidado. Because when you are, you get older, contestes viejito, you uh, like return la, and you act as a child. Y actúas casi como niño. Yeah. Es algo que se le llama regresión. Yeah. Okay. Good. Anything else? Algo más, Silvana? Oh, I just I, I spend a lot of shoes and dresses. <laughs> <laughs> well, dresses, shoes, yeah. different outfits. Okay, why not? Okay, good. Good for you. Thank you. Um, let's listen to Jesse. Jessica. Hello there. Hello. Contanos que harías con el pistol. Um... If I have one million dollars, I would. I would. I would um, pay debts. Yes, pay debts. Uh -huh, pagaría tus deudas. Invest in a business. In a business. In a business. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess. Uh, help my family. Okay. And save. Good, good. Okay, invest in business. Um, uh, help your family. Mm -hmm. And save. And, and? Save. Save y ahorrar. Okay, good options. Okay, and uh, now let's listen to Roxana. Hi, teacher. Hello. So, uh, if I have one million dollars, I travel around the world. I would travel. <laughs> yeah. What and, countries? Um, Paris, Italy, um, Canada. Okay. <laughs> in Arabia. Que país yeah. Arabia? Okay. <laughs> you would like to go to, uh, yeah. to Arabic places. Okay. That that sounds good. What else? ¿Qué más? And I buy a house. You will buy a house. Comprarías una casa. Yeah, I would like to, to buy a house and a big house, una casa grandecita. Ah, uh, yeah. No. no, okay. No, a little house, but a uh, small. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, what else? I I buy um. Uh, 
airplane. Wow, an airplane. <laughs> Para <What>? viajar. <laughs> nice. For yeah. travel. Only for you. Only for you. Yeah. Yeah. Only my family. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Sounds really good. Thank you. Yeah. What about Teacher. what about Jose? Okay, Jose, tell us. I would like I would like uh, buy a restaurant because I have a little experience with a restaurant administrative. I think it is a good option for business. Yeah, yeah. yeah and pay my debt. But... but what kind of food? Restaurant, um, Mexican, Mexican, Salvador, Mexican okay. food. Mexican food is a good option because all the people like. Yeah. Everybody uh, likes everybody likes Mexican food. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Okay. Anything else? Um, pay my debts and travel around the the world. Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> any any countries in special? Spain. Spain. Mm. Um. Chile. Um. Japan. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, very interesting only this, countries. Okay, only this three country. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, let's listen to Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Hello, guitar man. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. One million dollars for you. What would you do? <laughs> yeah, if I have one million dollar, I would uh, buy a modest house. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, buy a modest house. A modest house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I I will start your own business. Mm, my, sorry, my own business. Mm -hmm. Ah, my own business. Yeah. What kind of business? Uh, uh, restaurant, uh, restaurant, restaurant, and um, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yes. Yeah. Very important. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Good, thank you. Uh, ah, hey. What else? What else? Sí. Hey. Open a charity foundation. A foundation, an NGO. Okay. This is sí. um let, let, let me show you. NGO is ONG. Okay. La, la, las organizaciones no gubernamentales. Okay. Okay, good. La, it's so, similar to a foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will travel to Japan. 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 Hmm. Sí, I like the Asian woman. <laughs> oh, women. Okay. Good. Una chinita te vas a conseguir. Yeah, with one million, of course. Sí, You're going to get three. it. <laughs> one or two? Yeah. Or three? Okay. Only three. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. More one. Better. One is okay. One. More better. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Okay, Bane. Mm -hmm. One million dollars. Um. I had a million dollars. I would. I would buy my house. I would go to North Colombia. Mm. And I would also visit my mom. Visit your mom. Where is your mom? Donde está tu mamá? Los Angeles. Ah, Los Angeles. Okay. There are a lot of uh, Latin American people in there. A lot. Mm -hmm. so, yes, a lot of Salvadorians live in there. Yeah, I traveled there four years ago and I found there a lot of my ex classmates. Un montón de ex compañeros me encontré. But good. People, people, people do good in there. A la gente le va bien ahí. Okay. Thank you, Vanessa. Okay. What about Naum? Hello, Naum. Apareciste. Hi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good Sorry. evening. How are you? Good? Great. Great. Are you at home? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm late because I have some work. Okay. Okay, no problem. Tell us, uh, what would you do with $1 million? Uh, well, uh, if I have $1 million, uh, there are a lot of options, but the first, I would like to build a hotel near to the beach. A hotel near to the beach, okay. Because you know that I, in this place, there are a lot of money to make. Mm -hmm. 
and I would like to build a short. Short. A ah, church. Una iglesia. Yes. Okay. Yes. Para que vaya Jenny. Okay, good. Uh -huh. And uh, I uh, save like 200. 200,000. 200,000. 200,000. And, uh -huh. and the other one I spent with with poor people, you know, mm -hmm. build mm -hmm. some, some house for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, uh -huh. it sounds good. Um, mm -hmm. Only that. Only that. Okay. Good plans okay. for $1 million. Okay. Thank you for all your answers. I think your opinions are really good. I would like it. In my case, I would buy a house. I will buy a house. I will help. Uh, I would like to have a foundation, yes. And there are a lot of things that uh, I, I would like to do. I will buy a lot of instruments, good and original and very nice. Well, good new instruments, of course. Why not? Uh, okay. Here we have ways to say yo también, verdad? Lo que something that we studied yesterday. I am happy. Me too. I am happy too. I love you. Me too. I love you too. Uh, so am I, or so do I, okay? You can say, I am happy, so am I. I love you, so do I. Bien, vamos a hacer algo. Eh, vamos a hacer una oración, ya sea con el verb be, o sea, I am, pueden decir, I am a doctor, I am, lo que sea. O pueden utilizar un verbo, ¿verdad? I work in the mornings, I watch TV, lo que ustedes quieran. Y su compañero va a decir, eh, me too, so do I, so am I, Okay. Entonces, por ejemplo, eh, comienza Carlos con Silvana. Entonces, Carlos le dice, Silvana. Y le dice, ¿verdad? Um, I, am, I am a good person. Y Silvana le dice, I am a good person too. O le puede decir, me too. Y luego Silvana va con alguien más, ¿verdad? Es una chain, una cadenita, ¿verdad? Como la que perdió Carmen. Okay. So, uh, we're going to start with... Naum, my friend. Select one person. Sam, Samuel is driving. Samuel está, eh, va manejando. Sé que es un poco complicado, but please, no. Hey, uh, you are there. I can see you have yes. a painting. Veo que tienes una pintura atrás. Good. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Y tu famoso, yes. your pillow of, of emoji. Tu ah, sabes? sure. A saber cuál de sus ex te lo dio. Ok. <laughs> nice. Ok, okay. no. Uh, you mentioned the name of one of the classmates and you said your sentence. Everybody, please be ready with your sentence. Cada quien esté listo con su oración. Okay. Now, go ahead. Okay. Um, let me see. Silvana. Mm. Uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Everybody's tired today. Todos están cansados. Yes, me too. Yes, teacher. <laughs> me okay. too. Yes, me too, okay. for those. Okay. Okay. Nice. Silvana, your turn. Hey. I am super tired. But <laughs> okay. No, another different. Okay, everybody think about it. You can use different verbs. Mm -hmm. Puede ser, hey. eh, mm -hmm. puede ser pasatiempo, puede ser daily routines, lo que ustedes quieran. Eh, a person. Carlos. Okay. Go ahead with uh, Carlos. I am sleeping in the class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I am. Okay. No, I'm high. Okay. Ah, pues ya le voy a preguntar. Ya le puedo hacer un par de preguntas. Espérense. Bye. Ya, ya van a ver. Okay. Carlos, go ahead. Vamos a ver. Um... Vanessa. Vane. I am a pianist. Mm. Uh, no, I no. Ok. Vamos a inventar. Voy a decir que también. <laughs> ok. Me too. Me too. Ok, Vane. Go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, Vane. Perdón. Ay, lo siento, es que... Solo deme un... No, no, es que... Voy a hacer algo, solo un minuto. Ok. Mm, saber que este sea algo. Ok. 
please um voy a decir una Jenny I am I am a teacher Sam I <laughs> perfect okay go ahead you can select Roxana Jesse you can select Jose Jesse Jesse I am intelligent yes okay Jesse Me too. Okay, uh, ask Roxana, please. Pregúntale a Roxana. I eat pupusas. Okay, Roxana, I eat pupusas. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a singer. Uh, no, no, no. Eh, te dijo Jesse, I eat pupusas. Yo como pupusas. Tú tienes que. Ah, yo como pupusas. Uh -huh. Ok. Roxana. Me too. Ok. Yo siento que están dormidos ahora. Ok. Um, les voy a explicar algo. Porque necesito saber su opinión a mí realmente me gusta saber sus opiniones a mí me interesa, no sé, es una de las maneras en las cuales uno puede conocer a las personas ok, this is the thing you can use how much para decir cuántos o cuántas, o pueden decir how many para decir cuántos y cuántas, pero ahora aquí viene el punto, esto es contable, eh, incontable Y how many es para contables, pero no me refiero a contadores. Por ejemplo, la arena es incontable. El agua, the water, is uncountable. Um, the, the air, el aire, the love, the time. Hay medidas, posiblemente, you can say the sugar, for example, or coffee. Eh, hay medidas para contar, por ejemplo, una cucharada, una libra, una onza, pero no pueden decir eh, una azúcar. No se puede, decimos una libra, right? Así es. Entonces, how much es para incontables. Por ejemplo, how much time, cuánto tiempo, porque no decimos un tiempo, dos tiempos, decimos tres horas, tantos, tantos minutos. Y how many, podemos decir how many students are in the class. ¿Cuántos estudiantes tenemos? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ahorita tenemos nine. ¿Ok? Pero en este caso, aquí viene un punto. Fall in love significa enamorarse. I fall in love es enamorarse. Cuando dicen I am in love, es cuando, vaya, es cuando estás enamorado. Full power, rising. Cuando estás con todo. Es como más duradero. Es como cuando realmente amas a una persona hasta los huesos. But fall in love is like, yeah, you like that person, but not that much. La pregunta es, how much times can you love, can you deeply, aquí se lo voy a poner, how much time, How much times can you fall in love? ¿Cuántas veces se pueden enamorar? In life. Yes, Jenny, you have the answer. Yes, Vane, you have the answer. Be honest. You can say one time, two times, three times, four times. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can say whatever you think, but real love. Real love. Amor verdadero. Okay, Jenny, what do you think? One. Only one. Okay. Only one. Real, real love. Obi one. Okay. Yes, only one. Yes, real love. Once in the life. Una vez en la vida. Okay. Good. Eh, quizás era un gordito que no le hiciste caso. Nice. Let's listen to Carlos. What about you, my friend? What do you think? Que apareció. Only yes. One. Yes. Only, only one. one. Only one. Yeah. Ok, good. Ya me están preocupando. Liar. <ríe> ok, nice. Jessie, ya que apareció con todos los poderes. Hoy se viene empoderada esta mujer. Ok. So, 
What's up? Okay. okay. Only one. Only one. Yes. Mm. Okay. And Bane. Only two. Only two. Or three? No. Two. Five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Let's listen to Silvana. Mm. Maybe I think uh, two. Two. Okay. Nice. And what about Noom? Okay. My innocent friend. Uh, okay, teacher. Well, um, as you know that, so uh, each person have a different opinion about the the time that you can you can fall in love. But maybe you, in in my case, I can say that that I that you don't have a. Uh, main idea when you, you when you fall in love because imagine that you have a girlfriend and this this person li, uh, live Se va. and uh -huh. Con okay otro. Con otro. okay mm -hmm. and what do you do cry you have to you have, <laughs> you have to you have to you have to break, you have to break down the relationship then you have to 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 look for another girl, to mm -hmm. find another girl. Yeah. And you have to continue to with your the, life. Uh huh. That's that's the point. You have to continue with your life. You you say overcome. <laughs> yes, overcome. And, uh -huh, and you fall in love in when you share a good moment with your your girl. Mm -hmm. But maybe if you are established. Uh -huh. you, You're stable. Uh, mm -hmm. Stable. You 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 don't have to to think how many or how much time can you fall in love. Okay. Well, in my personal opinion, well, yes, I I understand your point. That depends on the person, depends on the decisions that you have, right, in your life. Okay. okay. Yes. Nice. Now let's see. Do you believe in love at first sight? Amor a primera vista. Mm, is it mm. true? Now, what do you think? Yes, no? No, teacher. No, for you, no. Uh, okay, no problem. I, I, my device for, for, for you is that you, you have to keep your feeling. Yeah. Okay, nice, have, nice. In my case. Okay, let's listen to Jesse. Let me see my Jesse la experimentado in the poster. Okay, Jesse. So, love at first sight. De esos amores de, de buses. No. <laughs> no what? <laughs> what say any? Every day, okay. Now, Jesse, come on. Uh, do you believe? Si crees? Crees, Jesse? No. No. Okay. No. Mujer de poca fe. Okay. Thank you. Sí. Yeah, see, in uh, the in the van, but uh, no real love. Yeah, maybe attraction. But right? yes. Yeah. Yeah, attraction. Okay, good. And, and you start like like this, like weekend. Like, like, like move your eye, eyebrow like this. Okay, good. Silvana, love at first sight? Yes, no? I don't believe that. No, mujer de poca fe, come on. Vane, yes? No. No, okay, no. Roxana? Uh, love, no. But attra attraction, yes. Uh, okay. You can sometimes we connect with people with the, with yeah. the energy <laughs> that they that they have. They emit like positive or not necessarily positive, but they have like a, a, a good vibration. And, and you say, well, that person like seems parece or looks uh -huh. different, uh, special, yes, interesting. Mm -hmm. Y ahí comienza, yes, el, comienza el coqueteo. Wow. Ok, thank you. Gracias oh por, my God. Gracias por decirme el secreto. Ok. So, ya después vamos a hablar de amor. Después nos bueno, vamos a dar consejos. What time is it? And then here we have these uh, questions. Ok. What time is it? What is the time? Do you have the time? Excuse me. Do you know what time is it? Could you tell me the time, please? Ya que tenemos 
one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's see. Jenny, do you remember one of the different forms to express the time? Well, to ask for the time. Form? ¿Cómo preguntamos la hora? What time is it? Besides that, parte de eso. Um, no. Pero pensar en el amor a primera vista. Se agarra en curva. Ok, ok. Vane ya lo tiene. Vane. Unita, no es un... How many? Sorry. Perdón. Uh -huh, uh -huh. How many? Eh, what, eh, what time? How many? Mm, no, creo. No. No, creo que vos estás enamorada ahorita. No, Vane. No. Ok. No, Different no, forms to ask the, the time. Diferentes maneras para preguntar la hora. Ok, vamos con Silvana. Sí, Vane, yo creo que revolvimos varios recuerdos. Nos la regamos. Ok, Silvana. What time do you have? Well, yeah, what time do you have? Yeah, you can say it. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Carlos and Jesse. Um, what is the time? What is the time? Okay. Jesse, mujer de poca fe. No remember. Not remember. Okay, good. Naum. Hombre que se enamora every day. <laughs> not, not teacher, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, excuse me, do you know what time it is? Yes, yes, good. Okay. Hugo, thank you, Naum. Hugo, we are talking about different forms to ask the time, different forms para preguntar la hora. Do you remember one? Uh, hello? Hello, yes, I can uh, hear you. Remember what time is it? Besides that, uh, aparte de eso. Mm, that's it, no remember more. Okay, no problem. What time is it? What is the time? Do you have the time? Estas, estas tres me las dijeron. Excuse me, do you know what time is it? And could you tell me the time, please? Okay. Could you tell me the time, please? Okay. So here we have the, the clock. Tenemos el, el, el reloj. Okay. La diferencia entre clock y watch es que el watch is for, it's like bracelet and you have it. Uh, you can use it in, in, your, in, in your hand. But clock is the one that is on the wall. O es uno que tenemos en la pared o, o así, ¿ok? Acuérdense, ¿verdad? Cinco pasadas las, la una, por ejemplo, diez pasadas, ten past one y así, ¿verdad? Quarter, ¿verdad? Half past one, por ejemplo. Y aquí tenemos 25, two, quarter two, ¿verdad? ¿Se recuerdan que eso ya lo vimos? We already started yesterday y ustedes lo entendieron muy bien. Me gustó bastante eso, que ustedes lo entendieron rápido. Ok, so remember, cuando está de aquí hasta acá, la minutera, se escucha como que una persona que vende minutos, pero no, la que vende minutas. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso sería, por ejemplo, la una y cinco sería five, it's five past one, ¿verdad? Así sería. Y estas son más fáciles porque si, se, si dice cinco a la una sería it's five to one. Ok. Good. Thank you. We have this. And Aquí tenemos, ¿verdad? Eh, nuevamente esto. Ya vamos a un ejercicio de, de, de la hora. Así que necesito que ponga un poquito de atención porque quiero que me lo diga. Nice. Ok. Igual, ¿ven? It's five past. Por ejemplo, acá. It's five past two. Uh -huh. Cinco pasadas las dos. It's ten past two. It's quarter past two. Uh -huh. y, y así de esa manera. And so on. It's half past two. Quarter two. Ya yes. está. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. No problem, right? Y Jenny está como, hmm, I want to remember. Okay. Yes. We have six clocks. So I need you to. Jesse is the first one. Yes. Select one color and tell me the time. Y me la van a decir de las dos maneras. La de la vieja confiable. Y de la otra manera que hemos estado pues, aprendiendo. Okay. Jesse. Sí, <laughs> What color? Red. No. Eh, red. Mm. Green, brown, light blue, yellow, purple, pink. Green. 
green, the Grinch. Okay, mm -hmm. green. It. It's five. No. Five. It's five. Five, five pass. <laughs> Past one. Yeah, it's five past one. ¿Y cómo lo diríamos fácilmente? It's one five. One and five. Yes. Thank you. Let's see. Hugo, my friend, pick one. It's what color? Five. Uh, green. No, but green, it's already taken. You have to, to select another. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yellow. Yellow. Como la canción de Coldplay. Mm -hmm. Quarter, quarter, it's quarter past, past uh, one. Yeah. Good, nice. Y normalmente, así, como sencillamente. Después viene Vane. One fifteen minutes. A one and fifteen minutes. Yes, you can say it. it's quarter past one or one and fifteen minutes. Okay, Bane, then Carlos. Mejor escucho otra que no. Okay. No sé cómo decir. Okay, elegí un color y te voy a dar tiempo. Select a color, and I'm going to give you time. What color? Brown, light uh, blue, pink. purple, pink. Okay, pink. Pink. Bien, te doy. 30 seconds. Okay, Carlos, your turn and then Jenny. Okay, teacher. Um, color red. Mm, I... hmm? Red? Uh, we don't have red. We have brown, light ah, blue, brown. And purple. Ah, okay. It's my display. Uh, I see okay, it. okay. El amor, el amor. Okay, brown. Tell me, tell me the time. What time is it? Sería... Uh, it's quarter past uh, two. No, it's quarter no. two. It's quarter two. Past two. No. Past one. Mira, a quarter two. Ah, it's a quarter two. Two. What are two? Two. <laughs> two. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Jenny, your turn. One and twenty or uh, it's twenty past one. Yeah. Yes. Purple. Yes, yeah, Jenny. You got it. Vanessa, ya pasaron los treinta segundos. Uh, <laughs> creería que sería eh, is is one pass eh. no, te voy a dar 15 segundos ok, yeah. now help me with the light blue con el celeste ok, ok teacher go ahead is is one and half well one and a half yes and a half y de qué otra manera one, podemos decir uh, two and thirty mm -mm. no no sorry one and thirty mm -hmm. y de qué otra manera utilizando el past ah ok is thirty past two past past, past one no. ajá ¿Qué tenés con las dos? No, creo que tienes que No, no teacher. No, teacher, I'm sorry. Ok. Es right. que mire, es que siento que el problema es que como estamos pensando en español, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso hace que sí. Yes, yes. Normalmente, pero, yes. Cuando podemos decir one and thirty, ahí pensamos en español, pero lo ideal es pensar en uh -huh. inglés. Entonces, ya tener, por ejemplo, past, two, ¿verdad? Half. Pero, ajá, pero ¿verdad que también se puede decir 32. Sería 30 right. past 2. Eh, no, no. No. Vaya, en este caso, 
aquí decimos past si van si la, 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 la aguja minutera va de aquí hasta acá pero después de acá okay. sería el to verdad aunque normalmente no decimos 25 to no decimos 29 o sea que no, no, no podemos decir media hora para las dos sí se puede pero es sí, raro puede. Ok. Ajá. Ajá. Es como en español, no lo podemos decir. Ah, no se puede. <risa> pues sí, pues se puede. Okay, ah, o, o, o como decir, faltan 30 minutos para que falte un minuto. Para las... <risa> Ajá, Ajá. Like, sonaría como algo así. Vanessa, pink color. Vamos, vamos. Tengo que avanzar. Ay, no, teacher. Uh -huh. Es que no sé si es is quarter to. No es quarter. Son 10 minutos. No, mejor dígamelo usted porque no, no sé. Después se lo voy a preguntar. Ahí ve. Ahí después. Ok, Silvana. Pick one. Ya te voy a preguntar, Vanessa. From one to six. And then Hugo. Ah, no, Hugo ya pasó. Jesse. Ah, no, Jessie ya pasó. Roxana. Ok, Silvana. <risa> Number one. Ok. Es quarter past eight. Yes. Thank you. Roxana, your turn. Ok. Mm. And then Hugo, again. Six. Ok, six. Ah, mira. Yeah. <laughs> 12 past 10 eh, la... no, 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 no 12 ah, past I'm 10 I'm confused, 2 estás confundida uh -huh, yeah. 2 o'clock 2 o'clock, quédate la más uh -huh. fácil uh -huh. Mira yeah. que... okay. Hugo, yo te quiero a la 12 <laughs> ok, ah, mujer, ¿dónde andas? Number three. Party. Okay, Hugo, go number, number three. three. Okay, and then Jenny. Quarter to six. A quarter to six. Easy, cheesy. Okay, two quarter five. Jenny, then Carlos. Five. Five, teacher. Yes, go ahead. It's a quarter to ten. Yes, nice. Okay, Carlos, and then, yeah, and then, no. Two Number two. Two. <laughs> miralo, miralo. Uh, four o'clock. Four o'clock. Now, number four. Mira, a ver, te sigue lo de los 30 minutos, mira, no. <laughs> yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Sería is two and thirty. Two and thirty, yeah. That's oh, two. Yeah. Ajá, ajá. Two past thirty. Mm, dos pasadas las treinta. Sería thirty past thirty past thirty thirty past two. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. We have a speaking activity. Eh, vamos con la actividad. Eh, Se recuerden que ayer hicimos una conversación este corta acerca del tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces hicimos dos, nos hacen falta dos conversations, ¿verdad? Hicimos esta, ¿verdad? What time is the meeting? It starts at six o'clock. When is it over? It is over at 30 past seven. Wow, so long. Well, it might finish by seven and fifteen. Aquí tenemos esta. Vamos con esta. Excuse me. What time is it? It is half past ten. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Understand. It is 10.30. Se dan cuenta que él dice it's half past 10 y que ustedes dicen it's 10.30. Ok, then half past 10 means 10.30. Yes, it does. So half past 7 means 7.30. Yeah, you got it. Entonces aquí le dice, discúlpame, ¿qué hora es? Es eh, 30 pasada a las 10. Lo siento, no lo entiendo. Y le dice la mujer, son las 10.30. O sea, se lo dice en diferente manera. Y le dice, oh, gracias. Eh... eh 30 pasada a las 10 significa 10.30. Sí, así es. Así que 30 pasada a las 7 significa 7.30. Yes, you got it. Ya lo entendiste. You got it. And number four, here we have, uh, when is the next bus? ¿Cuándo va el siguiente bus? It's a quarter, it is a quarter past eight. 
¿verdad? Como a la cuarta pasada a las ocho. Y el hombre dice, ocho y quince. That's too early. Eight and fifteen. Es muy temprano. I want to get a coffee. Quiero, eh, quiero conseguir un café. And when is the next one? ¿Y cuándo es el siguiente? The next bus is a quarter to nine. Eight forty-five. Okay. I can take that one. There is also one at 9.15. Hmm. 9.15 is so late. I have class at 9.30. Don't miss it then. Miss significa... Jenny, ¿qué significa miss? What is miss? Señorita. Mm -hmm. no. Sí, significa señorita. Pero en este caso significa... Es un verbo. Y significa extrañar. Extrañar. Ajá, extrañar o perder. Muy bien, Jenny. Hay una canción de Aerosmith que me gusta mucho que se dice I don't want to miss a thing. Sorry, ¿es, es la misma escritura? No, la misma. Literalmente es la misma pronunciación y escritura, pero significado diferente. Ajá. Ok. So, I need you to have a screenshot. Vamos a hacer eso rápido porque como es una conversación bien corta, ¿verdad? Y de ahí nos vamos a la siguiente pregunta, please. Uh, I need you to have a screenshot, please. Una captura de pantalla. Conversation three and four. Okay. Now I'm going to check the, the couples. Voy a revisar la, la, las parejas. Para que puedan hacerla. Si se encuentran bien corta, no vamos a tardar más de tres minutos seguramente. Tres, cuatro minutos. Le hago una revisadita ahorita en unos 30 segundos para poder, pues, este, hacerlo. Todo nice. Okay, let's do it, my friend. Is ten thirty. Oh, thanks. Half past ten means ten thirty. Yes, I does. So half pa so past eight. Eight fifty. That's so early. I want to get. I want to get a coffee. And when is the next bus? Se me cortó a mí la conversación o yo tomé es que, mal el screenshot. Lo, lo que pasa es que solo, solo copian, tú dices, when is the next? In, when is the next? Ok, mm -hmm. the next bus is a quarter to nine. ¿Te lo tienen bien? ¿Everything okay? Sí, yes, yes, yes. es súper cortado. Mm. Yo tenía súper cortada la, la, mm. la captura. Ok, but everything okay? In order. Yes, yes teacher. Otra. otra. Ah, mm. Ay. Creo que mi carota va a salir. Ok. <ríe> sí. Ahí tenemos su, su okay. foto de recuerdo. Miren cuando tomen captura de pantalla. Tenemos... Porque han mandado sí, una al grupo donde salgo, pero de esas. Terrible. Salgo. No. Para stickers están. <ríe> Todo una estrella. No, para stickers están esas fotos. <ríe> Esto es un artista de Hollywood. Ay, Dios. No. Ok, now, yeah, tell me. Vamos. Ok. Ok, let me see. Ok. Eh, ok, 845, ok. I can. Yes, it does. 
so, how past seven minutes? No sé si hasta llegaba o tomé mal la captura. <laughs> no, llega, la última es, does it mean is then? Don't miss it then. Yes, aquí está. ¿eh? ¿Lo tienen completo? ¿Y por qué part? me escuchó? Ah, ok. Qué raro sentí. Qué raro. Está. A ver qué debemos, mujer. No, no, es que me quedé pensando porque se escuchó una grabación. Dije yo, ¿qué pasa? Ok. <risa> bueno, ya la tiene completa, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. <risa> Mujeres, mujeres, mujeres. Okay, um, we're going to have the, this uh, question. What is your favorite family tradition? Um, but let me tell you that. Déjenme contarles que. Um, en este caso, eh, primero necesito detenerles en la lista de asistencia. So, Angela, no. Carlos, yes, right, Carlos? Yes, I am. Thank you. Um, Eh, Carmen, Elena, no, Ernesto, no, Ever, Flor, Hugo, yes, right? Hi. Thank you. Jairo, no. Jenny, yes, right, Jenny, no. Hi. Yes. Nice. Jesse, yes, you are there, Jesse. Mm. Jose. Un minuto, teacher, I go at the street. <laughs> Okay, Jose, I, I know. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. No problem. <laughs> Linda, no. Mabel, no. Mauricio, no. Yes, right, no. Yes, yes. Thank you. Reina, no. Roxana, no. Here. Good. Bane, yes, right, Bane. Hi. Sam is driving. Creo que todavía está manejando Sam. And uh, Silvana. I'm here. Okay, good. Who's going to start? ¿Quién va a comenzar? What's your favorite family tradition? La tradición de familiar que ustedes más les gusta o cuál es su favorita, okay? Sure. Any idea? My favorite mm -hmm. family tradition is make chipilín, uh, tamales de chipilín with my family. Good. And uh, those tamales, bueno, do you include cheese and egg? Yeah. yeah. Yes, my favorites. Those are my favorites. Oh, me too. <laughs> okay, good. So do you have a specific time? I mean date or in general? Depends. For Christmas, um, for Mother's Day, for in a special month? In a, in a special occasion, uh, bird, birthday? Birthdays birthday, or family for reunions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Congratulations. 
Según la tradición, quiere decir que ya te puedes casar, si lo puedes hacer. Ah. No. Así Ajá. dicen, por estos lados, así dicen. Así dicen. Ya. Yeah. 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 Por eso no aprendo. Ok, good. Thank you, Jenny. Um, what about what? Uh, Silvana? Uh -huh. Your favorite uh, family tradition? Uh, in my family, favorite tradition is uh, chicken bread. <laughs> chicken? Para el compoño. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. And do you have a special date? Uh, no. no It's a, my mom do. Ok, your mom does. Ok. Does. And you can do it? ¿Puedes hacerlo? <laughs> mm, me suena que no. Ok, thank you. Only it. Okay. Only it. Ok, solo para comer. Dice. Naum, what about you, my friend? Mm, ok, teacher. Uh, uh, my favorite family tradition is that I don't know if, if it's the topic, but we used to recollect money and we go uh, like poor place in El Salvador, mm -hmm. you know, and we we celebrate like Mother's Day and we with with this kind of person we cook uh, we may food and we try to give uh, uh, let me see like regard regards mm. ah yes yes como como festejo un saludo like, like press uh -huh. and we we try to to share with with this kind of person wow. when we can when we can because you know that sometimes that it's difficult mm -hmm. uh -huh, that the situation is very difficult but we 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 try to do um but don't we don't like to 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 show us to another maybe we we do in secret because it's our tradition and wow. we, I, I, I really enjoy it i really enjoy it and i have some picture but you know i I don't like to 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 show to you that show, I yeah to show off, verdad? Con, 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 con mostrarla demasiado, okay? Uh -huh. wow. For for example, and 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 that Mother Day, we we can we we did this action and we we both for the mothers and we both chicken we prepare uh, food, you know, and we feel very good. Wow, it sounds like very, but very, um, well, an action that comes from the heart. No, acción que viene del corazón. So congratulations, okay. Naum. Felicidades. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That, that's. I uh, want to buy you. You can. You can participate. Huh? Yeah. No, it, it sounds good. Maybe, or I can collaborate with something. Uh -huh. Why not? Thank you. Okay. Thank teacher. you, Naum, for okay. sharing. Thank you. And we're going with. Um, Jesse, your family tradition? The family tradition. Your, hello? Hi. Jesse. Hi, teacher. Okay, ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the family re reunion mm -hmm. of uncles, cousins, and parents every Christmas, and we eat tur turkey. A turkey. A turkey, mm -hmm. uh-huh. Yeah, pavo, pavo sí. muerto. <laughs> Good. Okay, for Christmas, para Navidad. Okay. It's a wonderful tradition, and that is something that you can do um, every year, cada año. Right. Okay. Nice. Espero que puedas cocinar, Jesse. Claro que sí. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. So here we have, here we have, then later we're going to continue. But here we have uh, these questions that you already know them. Ya las conocen, pero todas estas preguntas. Okay. Um, aquí es, le voy a explicar esto. Ustedes pueden decir either or, que significa ya sea sábado o domingo. Okay. Por ejemplo, 
Uh, what day do you go to the church? ¿Qué día vas a la iglesia? You can say, ah, either Saturday or Sunday. Ok. Either, ya sea, or, o. Hay algunas personas que dicen, eh, no dicen either, dicen either. ¿Verdad? Either. ¿Verdad? Yo prefiero decir either. Ustedes pero pueden decir ambos. Así que eso es bien importante. When you are expressing uh, something like uh, a common activity that you don't have a specific uh, day. No tienen un día específico. Ahora, cuando utilizamos el neither, eh, nosotros decimos ni, ni lunes ni martes. ¿Ok? Ni lunes ni martes. Por ejemplo, eh, what day do you rest? ¿Qué día descansas? Mm -hmm. Neither Monday nor Tuesday. ¿Ok? Así que necesito que hagamos algo. Díganme dos opciones. Cualquier cosa. Por ejemplo, either carrot or garlic. O me pueden decir, neither elephant nor cats. ¿Ya? Siempre relacionado a un tema. Pueden hablarme eh, de animales, pueden hablarme de colores, cualquier cosa. ¿Ok? Eh, hello, José. Can you hear me? ¿Me escuchas? Okay. ok, ok. Ah, but you're uh, you, using headphone. That's ok. Good, good. Ok, um, eh, necesito que piensen en eso, en una categoría. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos días de la semana. Ustedes pueden decir meses del año, pueden decir colores. Ok, so Jenny, please, can you start? Pueden utilizar either or o pueden utilizar neither nor, cualquiera. Mm -hmm. Either black or white. Good. For example, what's your favorite color? Either black or white. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. What about Silvana? Eat it is eat it as yes. Either con D. Either mm -hmm. either Pepsi. Or Coca-Cola. Okay, what's your favorite soda? Either Pepsi or Coca-Cola. But most people like or prefer Pepsi or Coca, okay? But if you don't care, pero si a ustedes les vale y no les, no, no les importa mucho, ah, either, ¿verdad? O, o pueden decir whatever, <laughs> lo que sea, okay? Um, what about Carlos? Okay, either PS Vita or PSP. Okay. Nice. Uh, what uh, do you play on on your free time? And you can say, yeah, the options. Thank you, Jesse, and then Roxana. Either hot dog nor pizza. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Roxana. Then Vanessa. Neither woman or man. Neither. Con n. Neither. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, Vanessa, then Naum. Okay, either skill or gym. Perfect. Okay, what about Naum? And then Jose. Either Spain or Russia. Wow, good. Jose? Either pupusa of cheese or either pupusa of beans. Good. Hugo. Neither apple or pear. Okay, apple, apple, okay. Apple or pear. Perfect, perfect. Okay, bien, vamos al tema del día. How to use prepositions of time. Tenemos tres preposiciones. On, in, at. On, in, at. On la utilizamos para los días de la semana. On Saturday, como ya lo hemos utilizado. We have used this word previously. On Saturday, or Monday, on, on Wednesday. O también podemos decirlo con el mes y la fecha. On January 23rd. Ya hablamos sobre la fecha de cumpleaños. Caso contrario. In, vamos a utilizarlo solo cuando mencionemos al mes. In September, in October, in February. Ok, ojo con eso. On se utiliza con el mes y la fecha, pero in solo para el mes. Igual acá, on Monday, February 5th, on Wednesday morning. Fácil, ¿verdad? Porque es día de la semana. In se utiliza, como les mencioné hace poco, para el mes en específico. 
o en el año, in eh, 2018. Podemos decir in the summer, in the morning. ¿Ok? Y at lo utilizamos para la hora. At 2.30, at 3 o'clock, y así. Podemos decir at noon. Eh, noon significa mediodía. Por eso, afternoon significa después del mediodía. ¿Ok? Noon, mediodía, afternoon, o sea, la tarde. ¿Verdad? Es eso. At night, no se dice in the night, in the night sino at night. Y podemos at midnight, que es a la medianoche. ¿Ok? So we're going to uh, make some exercises. Tenemos un email, tenemos un correo acá. Y aquí dice, pues, eh, que la, el asunto es new products presentations. Me van a ir as, diciendo oraciones por oraciones. Ok, Carlos, tú comienzas. Hello, Fátima. Yo te voy a decir hasta dónde vas a llegar hasta acá, hasta lunches. Ok, hello, Fátima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Yes. Do you know about the new product that the company launches? Launches, as I Launches is lanzar. Sabes the product that the company lanza? Okay, Hugo, there's a. Hugo, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. There's a presentation about it, uh, and it sounds very interesting. 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 It is sir at 6.30. Thank you, 6.30. Okay, uh, Jenny, I work until... I work until 5.45, but, but I can meet you at 6 o'clock on the corn, corner? Corner, corner. Uh, of so first... The, Corner of Fritz Avenue. Avenue and Main Street. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now what do you think? What do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be on March on Sunday. Yeah. And I came that day. Okay. Let me know. Bye bye. 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 Okay, perfect. Bien hecho. Bien hecho. Ok, así que ya tenemos eso, es parte de, del on, in, at. Y tenemos, eh, sí, vamos a tener un speaking, pero antes de eso, este, bueno, tenemos las propositions of time, ¿verdad? Nuevamente, at, at night, at 10.30, at noon, ¿verdad? At midnight, sunrise es cuando, se, cuando el sol sale, en sunset es cuando se oculta. Y tenemos in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, en February y todo esto. Fácil. Y tenemos on, on Sunday, on mor Monday morning, Tuesday y así. On Christmas Day, on a weekday y así sucesivamente. Bien, tenemos estos ejercicios, ¿ok? Tenemos el primero. My brother has a new job. He works in the evening, ¿ok? Cada uno me va a elegir dos, ¿ok? Y comenzamos, uh, comenzamos con Jesse, ¿ok, Jesse? We are going to have a picnic on Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 You like to come to come. To come. Mm -hmm. Good. Come. You like to come. Okay. Thank you, Silvana. Después te pregunto, yes. Silvana, three. I'll be. I'll be finished my work in an hour. Mm -hmm. Then I can go home. Yes. Finished. Conté. Finished. Okay. Excellent. Finished. Okay. Jenny, number four. When? When is the meeting? It is at two o'clock. Thank you. Hugo, five. I like to get up or to get up. I like to get up really early. Mm -hmm. At sunrise. Okay. Let's when? check. Yes. When the birds? The birds start to sing. Thank you. Okay, Carlos, six. Tom's birthday. Tom's birthday is the next week. Um, I guess. 
on January? Yes, on January 14th. Thank you. Jose, my grandfather. My grandfather was born in the 1950s. 50s, excellent. Okay, Naum, number eight. We will be? Uh, we will be in time. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. We will be. No, no está acá, pero es on time. Okay. Mm -hmm. The more difficult teacher, come on. No, okay. come on. We will be on time <laughs> or? We'll be, or we'll, we'll be missing a of, of flight. Or flight. flight. Yes, thank you. Good. Okay. Jesse, I uh, know. Uh, Bane, number eight. My family and I. Bane. Hola. Sí. My family. My family and I like I like to, to skip. skip to skip in mm. on at well. Um sería at win, mm, winter. Sería in winter in winter. Okay. In winter. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, Jose uh, number ten. Are there any holidays? In October. Thank you. Sam, our school. Uh, our school, um, cafeteria. Cafeteria. Cafeteria opens for lunch uh, at noon. Thank you. Roxana, number 12. What time does? What time does your son go to bed? At night. At night. Good. That's good. Okay. Um, now, number 13. We move. We move. Right. We move to the city in two, 2012. 12. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Jenny, um, 14. Are you going? Y la última, Jesse. Are you going to do anything special? In your birthday party? In your birthday, yes. Thank you. Okay, Jesse, 15, la última. I'm not going to watch that TV show. Mm -hmm. It starts at midnight. Okay, bien pronunciado. Starts, okay. <laughs> necesito, necesito que eh, me hagan un par de, bueno, unas oraciones sencillas, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, por lo menos, ¿verdad? What do you do on weekends? Entonces me van a decir on Saturday I, ¿verdad? Quiero que me digan cuatro cosas, ¿verdad? Y esas cuatro cosas su compañero las va a anotar. Por ejemplo, on Saturday I watch TV at 8.30 or half past 8, ¿verdad? In the afternoon, pueden decir este, ¿cómo se llama? On Sunday, in the afternoon, y ahí explican. O on Sunday, eh, dicen la acción y la hora, ¿ok? Cuatro, cuatro cosas que ustedes hacen, ¿verdad? On Saturday, on Sunday, dicen la acción, puede ser free time activity y la hora. Ok. So la pregunta es, what do you do on weekends? What do you do on weekends? Ok. Solo 40 minutos y ya casi terminamos, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a, pues, a ponerle más feeling a esto. Um, see you in a couple of minutes. Nos veo en un par de minutos. Anoten las oraciones que les digan, ¿verdad? Las actividades que hacen eh, on weekends.
also. Estamos haciendo, teacher. No lo sé, no lo sé, Rick. En tu cámara y así. Aquí está. Está, está bien, teacher. Gracias. Doctor. Aquí está, teacher. Yo lo tengo. Ok, bueno. His breakfast. Yeah. Break. Break. Was at a thirty, right? Yeah. Yes. Where else? Take a shower and watch. Watch my or check my phone for ten minutes. I watch movie from three uh, ten three to uh, one. I'm Una así rápido, eh, on Sunday, yeah. I go to the work at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? Yes. Okay. Or seven, no, or, or 15 past seven. Okay. Okay. 15 past seven. Seven, sí, yes. Okay. Okay. And the last one? Uh, uh, on Okay, my friends, I'm going to present you two pictures. Le voy a presentar dos imágenes. I need you to have, uh, well, be ready with your memory and try to remember some of the words or pictures that you're going to see. ¿verdad? Esto es solo para generar más vocabulario, more vocabulary, okay? But we're waiting for the rest. Um, necesito que seleccionen una de las oraciones que les dijo su compañero. 
select one, and you're going to say it in third person. La van a decir en tercera persona. Por ejemplo, si estuvo Samuel hablando con, con José, y Samuel le dice, on Sunday I watch Netflix at night. José va a decir, on Sunday Samuel watches TV at night. Watches TV, watches Netflix at night. Ok. Así que la vamos a hacer en tercera persona. Ok. Seleccionen una. Pero primero les voy a presentar una de estas imágenes. Así que a ver si recuerdan. Cinco segundos. Ok. Easy cheesy. Ok, Sam. Tell me one. Then Jenny. Para que no se la gane. Ok, Sam. <laughs> it's little time, but I see a beer. I saw a bear. A bear. Oh, yes. okay. I saw a beer. A bear. Cerveza. Yo. Mm, where? <laughs> okay. A bear. A Perfect. Bird. Thank you. Jenny, then Silvana. Snake. Snake. Okay. Silvana, then Hugo. I saw hippo. Hippo. Yeah. Good one. Hugo, then Jesse. Wolf. Yeah, Wolf of Wall Street. Jesse, then Jose. Crocodilo. <laughs> Crocodile. Crocodile. <laughs> Crocodile. Okay, Jose, and then Carlos. I saw Lion. Lion, good. Carlos? Uh, wolf. Okay, Wolf. Any other? Otro más? Uh, only that. Only that. Really? Okay. And what about Naum? Uh, I saw a, a zebra. A zebra, yes. Quiero ver, no, quiero ver. Okay. Yes, te digo, ni he visto. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. teacher, it's he, he, next to, to the elephant. elephant. Ay, miralo. Ooh. Okay, good. Vanessa? Okay. And Roxana? Snake. Snake, ya me la dijeron. ¿Tenés otro? Ah, y la otra era Ok, Roxana. Lion. Ay, Dios. Ok. So here, uh, can you see? Aquí pueden ver. Tenemos Lion, Elephant. Nadie me dijo Elephant. Monkey. Nobody said Monkey. Snake. Yes. Zebra. Yep. Giraffe. Nobody mentioned Giraffe. Deer. Venado, ¿ve? Eh? A quien le ponen el cuerno. Deer. Tiger. Nobody said tiger. Come on. Elephant, monkey, deer, giraffe, tiger. Five animals that you didn't mention. Crocodile. Hippo. Buffalo. Teacher. Yep. Entonces la marca que se llama John Deere es John Venado. Sí. Yes. John. Claro. Juan Venado. Ok. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> que no le lleguen en la esquina el venado. Okay. Wolf, wolf, bear, ¿verdad? Bear, si dicen beer, que es cerveza, pero beard con D significa barba o, ¿verdad? O pájaro en ese caso. Ok. As we are talking about uh, different types of vocabulary, I'm going to present you another. Ok. Seven seconds. Siete segundos. Que ustedes dicen que es poquito. Go ahead. Mucho. Bye. Um, let's listen to Roxana. Tell me. Shoulder. Shoulder. Okay. Vanessa. Mm, okay. Toe. Hmm? Toe. Toes. Toes. Okay. No. Jesse, then uh, Carlos. Foot. Foot. Carlos, then Silvana. Finger. Mm -hmm. Silvana, then Samuel. Arm. Arm. Mm -hmm. Samuel, then Hugo. Hand. Mm -hmm. Hugo, then Jenny. Stomach. Stomach. Mm -hmm. Stomach. Stomach. Mm -hmm. Stomach. Jenny, then Jose. Neck. Neck. Cuando te dan en el neck, yes. Cuando vas a recursos humanos. Ok. Jose, and Naum. Arm. Arm. 
arm is already taken. Do you have another? Really? Um, yeah. Two? <laughs> nail too. <laughs> okay, nail. Noam? Teacher, the, the more difficult. The command, no, it's not the most difficult. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Está como Jenny que se las quitan todas, dicen a la pobrecita. Okay, uh, I, uh, fingers, nails, uh, chest, elbow. Yeah, chest, chest, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. El chest there. Okay, so here we have parts of the body. Head, head and shoulders. El, el champú que utiliza uh, Jesse. Okay, head and shoulders. Here we have stomach. Hand, uh, tight or leg, cough or leg, también esta parte es cough, eh, pantorrilla me parece. Heel, miren, es el talón, por eso le dicen más high heels. Ok, Jesse, do you like high heels? ¿Te gustan los tacones altos? Yes. Ok, Jenny, high heels? Mm. Not really. Medium or high heels? Yeah, yeah. I, I... Occasions, special. Special occasion. When you, you have to look glamorous. Antes muerta que sencilla. Okay, antes muerta que sencilla. Good. Silvana, high heels. Antes muerta que sencilla, yes. I love it. Ah, really? Wow, vaya. Esta mujer sí dice. No. Bueno, iba a decir algo más, pero no. Pero empoderada. Eso es, empoderada. Okay, eh, Vane. Do you like high heels? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Roxana? No. I don't no. like it. You don't like it? Okay. No. You are like very relaxed. Yes. Okay. Take your easy. No, and it, it is difficult to, to, to walk like that. Hasta pueden tener accidentes. Okay. Yeah. Ah, una vez vi un video así en, en YouTube de, 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 en que tenían, ¿cómo se llama? <ríe> bueno, mejor ni lo digo. Pero sí, hay, hay videos, gracias, pobrecitas. Ok, neck, cuando te dan en la neck, cuando te van a quitar el trabajo, chest, tenemos esto. Cuando decimos breast, es eh, pecho, pero es cuando mencionamos, en, más que todo para las mujeres, breast, pero chest es pecho en general. Eh, me parece extraño que esté chest y, y en el caso de la mujer, cuando es breast. ¿Verdad? Para la mujer. Elbow, los tacaños, right? Arm, finger, uh, fingernail, knee, toe, toenail. Uh -huh. A mí me gustaría ver los dedos de, 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 de ustedes. A ver si no tienen gran jocote así grande. Okay. Sometimes it is uh, commonly for women, for girls. Girls have like the tongue, like very big. Las mujeres tienen como el pulgar del pie más grande. Yes, I have seen. He visto un par. Sí, sí dice. Yes, porque no te chas. Ok. Mm, um, antes de irnos a esto, necesito que me digan una oración, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en tercera persona, ¿ok? Y vamos a comenzar con Carlos, ¿ok? Eh, seleccione una oración de la que les dijo su compañero. 25 minutos, 25 minutos, and we finished. Ok, Carlos, come on. Ok. Um, on Saturday, she works at 5.30. Okay. Who is she? Uh, eh, Jesse. Oh, Jesse. Jesse works. Uh -huh. Jesse, your turn. Uh, on Saturday, he practices piano practices, practices. At, at nine. At night, ok. He practices, ok. Pero necesito que me digan los nombres, ¿verdad? Carlos. Ok. Carlitos. Mm, Carlitos Malía. Ok. What about Jenny? Fer. On, on Sunday, now get up. Get, get, yeah, get, get up. Get up. Get up at... 2 p.m. Hmm? Ah, no, no. <laughs> 8 p.m. 8, 8 p.m. Oh, come on. 8 a.m. Peor salió. Ok. 8 a.m. <laughs> come on, Jenny. Ajá. Hangover. Cuando amanece crudito. Ya. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, that happens. Hugo solo se ríe. Hugo es malo. Ok. 
No, Naum, sé que Naum es una persona muy sana, así como yo. Ok, Naum, sure, go ahead. Sure, ok. Um, Saturday, Jenny read, read her favorite book at 8 p.m. Reads, reads, reads. Lee, si son las 8 y 1, 8 y 1, ya no lo lee. Okay. No, ya no. <laughs> ok, thank you. Hugo, vos que te estás burlando aquí de la gente. Ok, Hugo, go ahead. On Saturday, Roxana usually go to house father, the parents. Okay, goes, usually goes mm -hmm. to usually, her. To, usually goes to, yes, to goes to house of parents. her father. Parents. Ah, parents. Ah, yo parents. Escuché, yo escuché father-in-law. Okay, good. Uh, Roxana, yes? Okay. Hugo on Saturday watches TV with his family. Watches what? TV? Okay. Thank you. Jose, your turn. On Saturday, Sam plays soccer at 6 o'clock. Wow, good for you, Sam. Soccer player. Okay. Tell me, Sam. Okay. Um... One minute. Uh, okay. uh, Jose, uh, on Saturday, uh, goes to the park at six o'clock. Okay, thank you. Uh, Silvana, your turn. Um, Vanessa, mm -hmm. she's, she goes, goes, Yes, go, she goes out in the night. Okay, she goes out in the night. Okay, no digamos a dónde sale. Vanessa, <laughs> your turn. Uh, Silvana on Saturday watches TV um night and um nine a.m. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Um. Almost to finish, ya para ir terminando. Okay, you did a very, uh, very nice activity. So here we have at, verdad, que lo, lo utilizamos para, eh, pues, a un tiempo específico. Por ejemplo, I get up at seven, verdad, uh, on holiday, okay, Thanksgiving, on days, on Wednesday, y así sucesivamente, verdad. In months, verdad, en los meses solo se dice in, o el año, in, la década, in season okay so i'm going to send you this powerpoint presentation and we go with what's your favorite family tradition okay um i need you to tell me jose what's your favorite family tradition please my friend my favorite tradition is when we go to the beach we go to el palmarcito mm -hmm. it's, it's a very very good We cook uh, uh, hamburger. My mother cook, cooks uh, cook chicken stew. Uh, we drink a, a little spiritual. You drink spiritual water. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Favorite tradition. Yeah, wow, it sounds like really fun. Se escucha como divertido. Thank you. Good, good. And what about Hugo? Your favorite family tradition? Then Carlos. My favorite tradition on Christmas cook chicken in sauce, seasoned with orange juice. Wow, nice with I orange juice. Uh, there are different forms to prepare chicken, right? Yes. Because yes. some people prepare with chicha, some other prepare with like bait or yeah, a different. Other so, beer. Or in beer, yeah. Or some people eat chicken and drink beer. And but let me uh, tell me, um, Hugo, who prepares the chicken? Your wife, you. My wife. Your wife. Wife. Okay. Nice. Um, Carlos, uh, tell me, and then Roxana. 
Okay, my favorite tradition is it's called be make chilate and torrejas in the weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend. On. Torrejas and chilate. Who prepares that? Who cooks? Oh, uh, my wife. Your wife, okay. Yeah, and you? You have to um, help and uh, anything. You help. You help watching. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. And, uh, well, Torrejas. I like Torrejas a lot. But there are people that they don't like, right? Hugo likes. Carlos likes. Jesse, you like Torrejas? Jenny, you like? You like? Uh, you like? Do you like? Yeah, so it's... Puedo utilizar el more or less? More or less. ¿Cómo que more or less? More. Why? Oh. Depends. Oh, I... uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, sí, depende. Hay algunas que son. Okay. Yeah, more or less. Roxana, your turn. And then Vanessa. Okay. Um, I love the tradition and uh, my family always do the posadas. No sé si decir para decir que hacemos las posadas es do or make. We do posadas. Uh -huh. ah, we Me do suena posadas. como el chavo del ocho. Ah, no, como la chimo <laughs> Es que ellos salen lo de las posadas, ¿ah? ¿eh? Pero, but, but it's different. Sé que en el caso de ustedes es diferente, right? Okay. The posadas is the same as, uh, is in, in December? In December. Like, yeah, right. in December. Like pastorelas. <laughs> yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. oh, wow, that's interesting. So who prepares, who prepares pastorelas? Uh, my, my mother. My mother, okay. It is, yeah. it is like a, a, a drama, like a play, como una obra de, de teatro, right? But uh, yeah. they do it on the street. A veces las hacen en las calles, ¿verdad? And the, yeah. the kids are dressed. Los niños se visten, right? Right. Good. Sí, yo salí en las pastorelas, a mí me pedían para ser el niño Jesús. Sí, sí yo, yo era el, el niño Dios. Okay. Okay. ok. ok, thank you, Roxana. Thank you. And let's see, Vanessa. Uh, my favorite tradition, uh, the family tradition for December is that my old make uh, artisan quesadillas. Okay, quesadillas, okay, yeah. Uh, she cooks or she prepares, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, cooks or prepares, nice, quesadillas. Wow, ya me dio hambre, with coffee, of course. Okay, Sam, your turn, and we finish this activity. Uh, my favorite tradition, is um, from birthday, birthday to my grandmother, mm -hmm. uh, prepare a pupusiada mm -hmm. from, uh, from old family. Yeah, there are a lot of, a lot, a lot of people. Pupuseadas. Yeah. Something that I like of pupuseadas or, or pupusas prepared at home is that you can eat a lot. You can eat a lot of pupusas. It's all you can eat. Yeah, all you can eat for free. At yes. home, yeah, one day, well, when my family prepare pupusiada, I, I eat uh, like seven pupusas or six. Yeah. No, yeah. no I, I, I eat four, four, four or four or five. Okay. Yeah, that depends. Pues si me ato cachete, ¿o crees que es por gusto? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Okay, we're about to finish. 14 minutes for 10 minutes to finish. Um, something, quiero, bueno, something that I, I like you to, to tell me is this, work functions. Solo dígame una función que ustedes hacen. On Monday, I, que hacen un día, o oh, I super, o oh, me pueden decir la hora, I supervise the product, yo superviso el producto, mm, un ejemplo. I check the mail every day. Cualquiera de estas tres maneras me lo pueden decir. Using the day, utilizando el día, utilizando una hora o utilizando every day. Si hacen algo en, en, en un día específico de la semana, en una hora específica, 
o si lo hacen todos los días, ok? So, uh, let's start with Naum, my friend, and then Silvana. Ok. On Monday, I sent to Hugo some report about the bill that I <laughs> Really? So, you yes. sent some, you sent reports and memes to Hugo. Okay. Yes, yes okay, nice. Thank you. Okay. Silvana, then Jenny. On Monday, I checked the email and I answered the, every area that I to receive. Good, good, nice. Good. Okay, Jenny, then Hugo. On Monday, start, I start the work, the job. Or the I, start, work. I, start, I start my job, yeah, or I start, to, or I start to work. 6.30. 6.30, yeah, in the morning, I know it is difficult, it is difficult, okay. Uh, Hugo, then Sam. Okay, Hugo. Monday, I check the email and reports and memes from Naum. Okay, nice. And Sam and then Bane. Uh, on Monday, um, I check the goals of um, sales group. Okay, nice. So and, it is easy. Mm -hmm. and check the KPIs, KPIs of um, my equipo. Ah, yeah, equipment. Mm -hmm. o, equipment. Eh, si es, o, o si es team, si es personas son team. Pero si es equipo así de computadora o lo que sea, equipment. No, no, uh, it's team. Team. My team. team, your team. Okay, thank you. Good. Okay, we go with uh, Vanessa and Carlos. On Monday, it check it the mail. No sé cómo se dice para si los clientes me han contestado. Okay, uh, check the mail. Uh, customers reply. Customer reply. Sí, esa es como la respuesta, ¿ve? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. Este es la contestación de los clientes, ¿ok? Ah, sería, sería, on Monday, I, I check the mail, consumer, reply. reply. Perfect, yeah, good. Carlos, uh, then Roxana. Ok, on Mondays, I do analysis of packing time to upload to the system. Good, nice. Roxana, then José. Ok, on Friday, I always made my office. Perfect. Jose, then Jesse. On Tuesday, I check the order of our most important customer, Super Selectos. Whoa, good. It sounds like very important. Okay, good. Uh, Jesse. Okay, no pasa de Jesse. Super, super nice. He broke every day. Ah, todos los días, ajá. Sí. Sí, no me crees, no sé por qué. No, no me crees, profesor. Mm, ese debe ser. Se me hace que Jessy es la que pone apodos en la, en la, en la empresa, no sé por qué. No, no puedo, no puedo hacer eso. Ah, debajo de agua. Ok, eh, nine minutes, nueve minutos y eh, we, uh, uh, terminamos. Solo quiero que veamos esta conversation about routines. Solo vamos a hacer dos de estas. ¿Verdad? Solo haríamos estas. Um, let me show you. Ok. Solo vamos a hacer la conversation one and conversation two. Y terminamos. Ok. Veamos la uno. Dice, what do you do on the weekend? Mm, nothing important. I hardly, hardly, hardly ever stay at home. Watch TV, read a book. Just take it easy. Eso, solo, eso significa... Solo agarrarla al suave. Eso significa. Just take it easy. What about you? I like to get outside. I usually take a drive, visit friends, or play sports. Oh, what sports do you play? I like to play golf and tennis. Do you play any sports? Not really. 
I like to watch sports dog. ¿Verdad? Jenny, ¿te acuerdas qué significa dog? No. No. Carlos, dog. No, no remember. Ok, aunque. Aunque. Eso va al final, pero se dice así, ¿ve? no realmente. Aunque a mí me gusta mirar, uh, mirar uh, deportes. Ok. Aunque. Conversation 2. What do you like to do in your free time? I like going shopping. And hanging out. Hanging out significa salir. Salir, como dicen, a vacilar. Ok. Uh, uh, I like going shopping and hanging out with friends. And you, I like cooking and baking things. Oh yeah, what do you bake? I bake cake and cookies, mainly, mainly, principalmente. Bake e hornear. Well, I love to eat cookies, so share if you like. Okay, I'll remember to you next time. I'll remember, okay? Bien, siete minutos. Esta conversación no nos, va, no nos vamos a tardar más de qué? Cuatro minutos. Teacher, cinco. smile for the screenshots. Ok, sí, porque ya me van a hacer stickers. Ok. <risa> ¿Puedo ir? Ya. Yeah. Ok. Sí. Ay, la boca abierta. Uh -huh. ah, ni modo. Ay, me pones <risa> un emoji. Thank you. <risa> okay. Ya tienen el screenshot, ok. Six minutes and we finish. Ok, nada. <risa> Ok, la vez pasada había Jesse así con, con un gran flash. Me recordó el señor, un señor que tiene, que se le sigue. <ríe> que se le grabando, ok. Good. Let's do it. Ya sabe Vanessa a cuál me refiero, ok. <ríe> See you. Los veo como en cuatro minutos, ok. Teacher, can you invite me because I I do what I I I press another button and I I ¿Qué forget. Está haciendo? <laughs> okay. Usually take a drive or play sport. Oh, what sport do you play? I like to play golf and tennis. Do you play any sport? No, really. I like to watch the sport. So? Conversation two. What do you like to do? You'll remember next time. One more time. Okay. What do you do on the weekend? How is out what pray and you? I like cooking and I hardly ever stay at home. Watch TV, read a book, take it easy. Nothing, nothing important. I hardly ever stay at home, watch TV, read a book. You stay, you stay, you stay. Is what about you? I like, to, I like to get. Okay, um, I'm just going to check the pronunciation. Um, two minutes and we finished. Bien, escuché que decían 
important, 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 está la fuerza de voz. Any, a varios escuché que decían any, como que si fuera una persona que se llamaba Ana, no, any, any, ok. Really, really, ok. Mm, lo otro sería este, just, como Justin, pero no Bieber, so, just take it easy, just take it easy. Okay, so that's all. And I'm going to check the attendance list to finish. Um, so, Angela, Alejandra, no. Carlos, yes, right, my friend. Thank you, Carmen, Elena, no. Ernesto, no. Ever Norberto, no. Flor, uh -oh. Hugo, yes, right, Hugo. Hi, teacher. Thank you, Jairo, no. Jenny. Present. <laughs> Pobrecita Jenny, present. Ya, ya en lo último. Vamos, Jenny. 30 segundos, tranqui, relax. Just take it easy. Um, Jesse. Present. Present. Sí, Jesse, sí, bosa. Ok, eh, José Palacio. Thank you. Linda, no. Mabel, Mabel is driving. Va manejando. No, um, Mauricio, no, Naum, hello. Aquí, teacher. Thank you. Reina, hey. Roxana. Aquí. Yes. Vane. Present. Yo, Sam. Two minutes for a sleep. Yeah, two minutes. <laughs> Rana. I'm here. Good. Bien, solo... Uh, ya terminamos. Si pueden mañana avancen, avancen con la unidad 3, ¿verdad? Para que el lunes, yo sé que van a estar con esas caritas así, ¿verdad? Avancen mañana para estar relax el lunes, ¿verdad? Así que ánimo. Good night. Descansen, mi gente. Buena gente. Sueñen con los Thank angelitos. You. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Pobrecita, bye. mi gente. Bye. Descansen. Bye, bye. I'm bye teacher. Okay, unfortunately, the person who was going to be here in the session of 10 minutes couldn't attend to the class. Um, he is a good student, but due to different issues or problems related to his schedule and job, um, he has not been in classes uh, these previous days. So I'm going to make a short review and feedback about the topic that or topics that we studied uh, in this class. There are different content that we covered and especially the main topics taken from the manual. So, um, the topic is how to use prepositions of time. In the previous classes, we <clears throat> studied how to express the time by practicing a vocabulary related to the time. Uh, we studied how to, to express the time in different forms. Uh, including this vocabulary past, quarter, past, half, two, quarter two, o'clock. And here um, it is easy to see that uh, this is uh, the way to, to express the time. If we say it's 
two o'clock is in this way. Two and five minutes, we can say it's five past two. Uh, it's two and ten minutes, we also can say it's ten past two. It's two and fifteen minutes, we may say it's a quarter past two. It's two and twenty minutes, we can say it's twenty past two. It's two and twenty-five minutes, we may say it's twenty-five past two. It's two and thirty minutes, we can say it's half past two. It's two and thirty-five minutes, it's twenty-five to three. It's two and forty minutes, it's twenty to three. It's two and forty-five minutes, it's quarter to three. It's two and fifty minutes, it's ten to three. It's two and fifty-five minutes, it's five to three. We had a practice in which uh, I presented some clocks representing uh, different uh, different forms or different numbers to express the time. In the green color, uh, it is one and five minutes, but also we may say it's five past one. In the brown color, it's uh, one and 45 minutes, but also we may say it's um, a quarter to two. In the, la in the light blue watch, uh, it is one and 30 minutes, but we may say it's half past one. In the yellow color, it is one and 15 minutes, or we can say it's a quarter past one. In the purple watch, it is one and 20 minutes, but we also can say it's 20 past one. In the pink uh, color watch, it is one and 15 minutes, but also we can say it's 10 to two. Continuing with the with the, the time, telling the time. Here we have number one. We can say it's eight and 15 minutes or it's a quarter past eight. Number two, it's four o'clock. Number three, it's um, five and 45 minutes or it's a quarter to six, four. It's two and a half, it's two and 30, or it's half past two. Also, we can say it's um, nine and 45 minutes, or it's a quarter to 10. Number six, it's two o'clock. We studied uh, the different prepositions of time. And there are three words that we can uh, apply to different phrases, especially when we want to express a, speci a specific date or time. We have on, in, at. We may say on Saturday, on January 23rd, on Monday, February 5th, on Wednesday morning. Also, we can say uh, for in, in May, in 2018, in the summer, in the morning. And for at, we may say at 2.30, at noon, at night, at midnight. Here, uh, there is an exercise. The instruction says, complete the mail using the prepositions of time. Compare answers with a classmate. Here we have from, Fati, Fati, or Fati, um, 2018 at email.com, 
to Mary underscore to at email.com. Subject, new products presentation. The mail says, hello, Fatima, are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There's a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It starts at 6.30. I work until 5 and 45, but I can meet you at 6 o'clock on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday. And I can't that day. Let me know. Bye. Bye. After that, we have more practice related to propositions of time. Thank you. You can see that there are some other words or phrases in which uh, we can use at, in, on. For example, at night, at 10.30, at noon, or at midday, at midnight, at bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset. We also can say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in February, in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, in autumn, in winter or in the winter. In 2000, 2013, in the 1990s, in a minute or in few minutes. For on, we can say on Sunday, on Monday morning, on Tuesday afternoon, on Wednesday evening, on my birthday, on a holiday, on, a queer, on Christmas day, on a weekday, on time, on the weekend. This is for United States. And this has been all for this class. So see you next class.